California today a firefighter struggles to protect the home from catching fire in Coffee Park, in Santa Rosa, Calif, in October. Credit Kent Porter, the Press Democrat, via Associated Press Good Morning, want to get California Today by email. Here's the sign-up Rusty Whitware has the sudden flames of California wildfires seared into his blood. Over more than 40 fire seasons, he's watched the chainsaws get lighter and the helicopters get bigger. In 1968, he started as a 17-year-old with the California Department of Forestry, now Cal Fire. He went on to lead the Tahoe Hotshots, an elite U.S. Forest Service fire crew, for 16 years. Mr. Whitworth, 68, said that he'd never bet his pink slip predicting a fire season like the one ahead, but what he foresees for his home state troubles him. Listen, I'm not a scientist, and, trust me, fires burned just as hot 40 years ago, he said on Tuesday, but I know something is going on, Mr. Whitwer was referring to what many are calling the new normal, a term now commonly applied to the state's drastically worsening fire seasons as a result of cyclical drought, climate change and the ceaseless drive to populate fire-prone areas. Last year was the most destructive fire season in California history, more than $10 billion in damage and 44 dead. The ominous question is what comes next, there is a new normal in California, Tony Atkins, the state Senate president pro tem, said by email. Massive wildland fires are now a part of our life, and one of biggest challenges facing the legislature and governor this year. These fires are every bit the same kind of disaster as earthquakes, hurricanes and other natural disasters that confront states across the country. Fear has translated into policy. California will spend as much as $1 billion in the coming year to prevent and prepare for wildfires. For some, new normal is already passé. Scott McLean, the deputy chief of Cal Fire, drives from Chico to Sacramento every day. He's already watched fire conditions change this year, the grass turning from green to brown. Mr. McLean said that, through Sunday, Cal Fire had this year responded to more than 1,200 fires that had burned about 8,000 acres. At this time last year, the worst ever, they'd responded to 1,049 fires that burned 2,200 acres, the new normal is already here. We don't even use new anymore. Mr. McLean said, it's the reality. The fire season is expanding. The weather has changed. We don't even consider it a fire season anymore. In Southern California especially, it's year-round, Mr. McLean's advice for homeowners. Be prepared. Get your defensible space into play, he said and look back at 2017 and 2016, because we are on track for that type of fire frequency, and I really hope we don't go there, California Online, please note, we regularly highlight articles on news sites that have limited access for non-subscribers, Imagic L. Max Nikias, the University of Southern California president. A petition calling for his resignation included many of the university's most celebrated professors. Credit Lee and Bennett, Getty Images, Outrage and Disappointment. 200 professors at the University of Southern California demanded the resignation of the school's president, saying that he no longer had the moral authority to lead after reports that a school gynecologist had mistreated students for decades. The New York Times, a new poll shows the fight for second place in the governor's race between John Cox, a Republican, and Antonio Villaraigosa, a Democrat, to be unpredictable and volatile ahead of the June 5 primary. <music> Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom led both by at least 10 percentage points, and only two candidates get on the ballot. <music> Los Angeles Times, we're saying, time's up. Covered California, the state's health insurance marketplace under the Affordable Care Act devised a new way to hold hospitals accountable for the quality of their care. NPR, a state Senate committee is considering a bill that would give Cal Fire investigators and district attorneys more time to prosecute rogue cannabis farms where illegal timber clearing was done. 
Rika Times standard rifts between moderate and conservative Republicans over immigration and the Russia inquiry are hurting Speaker Paul D. Ryan. Credit Eric Thayer for the New York Times even as Speaker Paul Ryan pledged to run through the tape and finish out his term, his no. 2. Kevin McCarthy of California, had to push back against speculation about a coup, in which Mr. McCarthy would become Speaker before the November election. The New York Times, Senator Bernie Sanders is coming to California next month ahead of primary elections on June 5th. Mr. Sanders, rather than backing candidates, will speak to protesting workers and rally with activists. NBC, in Yosemite, a hiker fell to his death from the cabled section of Half Dome. The park said it was the first fatality on the Half Dome cable since 2011, and the first visitor fatality in 2018. SF Gate, a Fresno County inmate admitted in court that four years ago he killed his cellmate, an accused child molester, claiming the slaying was a public service. The judge called the confession, striking in its audacity. Fresno B. Mark Zuckerberg and Antonio Tajani, President of the European Parliament, in Brussels on Tuesday. Credit Geert von den Weingart, Associated Press Mark Zuckerberg faced a barrage of questions at the European Parliament in Brussels. One member asked if wanted to be remembered in the same high regard as Steve Jobs and Bill Gates or for destroying democracy. The New York Times, California spent $11,495 per pupil in 2016. That's 23rd in the nation and just below the $11,762 average. But California school spending was up 9.8%, the biggest jump in the U.S. Orange County Register, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched a pair of U.S.-German science satellites and five commercial communications satellites into orbit from Vandenberg Air Force Base. ABC, for more than a decade, California has consistently lost residents to other states. From 2012 to 2016, their most popular destination was Texas. Forbes, Golden State's postseason home winning streak, the longest in NBA. History, ended as a last-second three-pointer by Stephen Curry rattled out, leaving the series with Houston tied at 2-2. The New York Times, and finally, The New York Times sat down with Philip Roth in 2008 to talk about his life and accomplishments. Published on May 22, 2018 credit image by Sarah Krull which The New York Times Philip Roth, a preeminent figure of 20th century literature, died Tuesday night in Manhattan at 85. Read our obituary. In a writing career that stretched into his 70s, Mr. Roth produced more than 30 books, including, Part Noise Complaint, Goodbye, Columbus, and American Pastoral, that often explored male, sexuality and Jewish American life. He received numerous top prizes, including a Pulitzer, and won some prizes more than once. Mr. Roth spoke with The Times about his life and accomplishments in a video interview in 2011. Radical change is the nature of American life, he said. That's the only permanent thing we have, is radical change. California today goes live at 6 a.m. Pacific Time weekdays. Tell us what you want to see, Cataday at nytimes.com. California Today is edited by Julie Bloom, who grew up in Los Angeles and graduated from UC Berkeley.